It's, I'm glad we were able to catch up you yet before we wrapped up for the day. Me too. I mean, I know that uh, we were just ready to break down the step and get everything all done and clear everything out. And lo and behold, you came in and said you were curious about being hypnotized for stress. Is that right? That is true. Okay. Well, before we do that, let me just ask you a little bit here. Have you had any experience with hypnosis at all? No, okay. I have not. I'm nervous. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, you said you had stress, so it makes sense you're nervous. Uh -huh. Um. Have you had any exposure at all to it? Even though I know you've never done it, have you like seen it on television or? Yeah, I think I have seen something on TV one time, like a an audience and they like a talk show type thing. I think it was what it was on. Okay. Well, what do you think hypnosis is going to be like? I don't know. That's what I'm nervous about. <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> okay. Well, are you nervous then? What makes you nervous about hypnosis? Well, I just you know, from what I've heard, when you're hypnotized, you don't know what's going on, so I'm kind of nervous that. I might do something or say something that I wouldn't normally do. Well, that might be the case, but uh, at the same time, it's fun. Okay. It's very relaxing, and that's the best thing about hypnosis. It's very relaxing, very natural. You just feel really calm when you're doing it. Um, in fact, well, let me just do something here to see what's going on. Okay. I'm going to have you do, and I'm going to see how, what level of stress you have right now. I'm going to put your hands straight out something like this. Okay. And I want you to focus on your thumbs. As you're doing that, I want you to imagine that all that stress, all that tension is locking in your hands. All that tension you have inside of you is just locking, all that nervousness locking in your hands. In fact, just pushing your hands as tightly together as they can, getting tighter and tighter and tighter to the point they're almost glued together. It's like your hands are glued together, gluing tighter and tighter and tighter, so tightly glued together right now, Barbara, that for a moment, the harder you try to pull your hands apart, the tighter they glue together right now. You can try as hard as you can, the harder you try, the more they're sticking together. And now, as I touch your hand, you're feeling your hand getting very heavy. It's like my finger is weighing a lot, weighing a huge amount. The harder you try to hold my hand up, my finger up, the heavier it gets. You can try as hard as you can to hold my hand up, but the harder you're trying, the heavier it's getting, the heavier that finger gets. As the hand begins to drop down, you notice your eyes begin to drop down. Feel your eyes blinking more, begin to close, closing, 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 relax, relax. By the time your hand hits your leg, your eyes are tightly closed, and you relax. Relax, relax, relax. Relax deeply now. Letting your hands just slide apart, sliding apart now, just dropping down to your side. Dropping down as you relax deeper and deeper and deeper still. Just let yourself continue to relax. Continue to relax. And your eyes close wonderfully, deeply, tightly. Relaxing very deeply now. So deeply relaxed that your eyes close very tightly right now. Closing so tightly right now, Barbara, that for a moment, the harder you try to open your eyes, the tighter they're closing. Trying now to open your eyes, and the harder you try, the tighter they close. And now relax your eyes. Let them remain naturally, comfortably closed. Now, as you relax even more, when I touch your shoulder, you relax a hundred times deeper. A hundred times deeper now. Just relax. Relax, let all that stress just disappear, disappearing out of your body, out of your mind. Just relax. And as that stress goes away, your legs just naturally uncross. Without even trying, your legs just naturally uncross as you become so relaxed. It's like this leg is just floating up and moving all by itself. Deeper and deeper and deeper. Very deeply relaxed. Very deeply relaxed. I'm going to take both of your hands for a moment. As you begin to twirl them right in front of you, as you're doing that, when I let go, you just keep right on going, keep right on going, going faster and faster and faster, twirling faster, 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 so fast now. The harder you try to slow them down now, the faster they're going. Trying to slow them down, the harder you try, the faster they go. When I clap my hands in reverse direction now, the other way, faster, 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 faster. When I clap my hands again, your right hand drops, your left hand keeps going now. 
dropping and going faster and faster and faster. Now I clap my hands again. Your hands drop to your lap and you relax another hundred times deeper now. Deeper and deeper and deeper and deeper. Very deeply relaxed. Very deeply relaxed. Just letting yourself go so deep now. So deeply relaxed. So relax now that when I touch your forehead, and only while I'm touching your forehead, your name becomes stuck in your mouth. So tightly stuck that the harder you try to say your name, the more it sticks. But when I let go of your forehead, your name comes out normally. As I touch your forehead, your name is completely stuck in your mouth right now. You can try to say your name, but the harder you try, the more it sticks. Try as hard as you can. The harder you try, the more it sticks. And when I let go, it just pops out. Sorry. Going deeper and deeper and deeper still. More and more relaxed. Very deeply relaxed. Now what you're going to find is for a moment you completely forget the number five. That number just vanished completely out of your thoughts, out of your mind. It just disappears completely and totally. And where it was, any gap is just closing, is completely gone now. Completely erased, completely turned off. And when it's completely gone, a smile comes to you without even trying. When it's completely gone, a smile comes to you without even trying. Now just count out loud from one to ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And just let that five disappear now. Let it disappear completely and totally. Just letting it vanish completely and totally. If that's okay with you, just nod your head yes. And if it's not okay, shake your head no. Okay. Well, now as you continue to relax even deeper, what you're going to discover is that when I count to five, you come out of hypnosis. However, you completely forget you've just been hypnotized. Completely forgetting you've just been hypnotized. All you remember is you're about to be hypnotized for the first time to help you be more calm, to help deal with stress. So when I count to five, you come out of hypnosis. Sure, you've never been hypnotized. Sure, you're about to be hypnotized for the first time. One, feeling good. Two, feeling very good. Three, feeling wonderful. Four, feeling great. And five. Okay, Barbara. Now, let me check with you here. Uh, you want to be hypnotized for stress, is that right? Yes. Okay, now have you ever been hypnotized? Nope. Okay, has anyone even tried to hypnotize you? I don't think so, no. Okay, well, now when you think of hypnosis, what do you think about is how people get hypnotized? <clears throat> I, I don't really know how it's done, I guess. I, I, I don't know. I've never been able to figure that out. Okay. Well, you <laughs> usually think of things like a swinging watch? Oh, yeah, that comes you know, to mind. You usually think like some guy's going to come up with a swinging watch? I always think of the, the um, office space <laughs> movie. I, no, I forgot how they did it in that movie. I, I don't remember how they did it either. I just remember them counting to him, and then the guy had a heart attack, and he was still hypnotized. And right, which, of course, is in complete and total fiction. <laughs> because I do know what happens if somebody has a heart attack during hypnosis. I actually <laughs> met the guy who had that. The person comes out of hypnosis, calls 911, and saves a person's life. Hmm. And I, I actually talked to the hypnotist who had that happen in real life. And you can also quote me that at that point you do not charge your client. <laughs> but... Uh, yeah, actually, that's office space got that totally wrong. That is completely ridiculous. That's, but, what, I, that's what I always think of. Right. Mm -hmm. But unfortunately, everybody thinks it's great, so I don't say anything about it. <laughs> but anyways, um, so it, it, I think, yeah, you just kind of count it down. It's kind of like just focusing on the eyes. Is that about it or something like that? Yeah, yeah. So you just kind of focus on the eyes, and it was just like, okay, as I count down from five to one, your eyes just close on down. Mm -hmm. You just relax very deeply. Five. Relaxing more. Four. Feeling yourself. Relax. Relax. Three. Breathing deeper. Eyes closing. Closing. Two. Eyes closing more. More tightly. Relaxing. Relaxing. And one. Deeply. Deeply relaxed. There deeply relaxed. Just letting yourself go deeper and deeper and deeper. Very, very deep. 
very deeply relaxed. When you're much deeper than you've ever been, your hands just float a little ways up into the air. As you go deeper and deeper, just let them go up all by themselves, all by themselves, floating up just a little bit more. When I touch your shoulder, they just drop back down to your lap. Deeper and deeper and deeper still. Very, very deep. Now what you discover is in a moment, I'm going to have you stand up. When you stand up, you'll discover you're wearing the most beautiful clothes you could imagine. And if you like this idea, simply nod your head yes. You can picture those clothes in your mind right now. What do those clothes look like right now? The clothes that I'm wearing? No, the clothes that you'll be wearing in a moment, the most beautiful clothes in the world to you. Um, I don't know, a dress. And what color is that dress? Black. And what type of fabric? Mm, I'm not sure. Well, just Maybe like a cotton a blend. Cotton. Oh, right. How long is that dress? Mm, a little bit uh, above my knees. Just above your knees? And what kind of cut does it have on top? Uh, it's like a, a v-neck. Mm -hmm. You know how that looks and feels on you? Mm -hmm. You picture that very clearly right now? Mm -hmm. What's going to happen in a moment, I'm going to have you stand up. When you do, you're going to feel just a little dizzy for a couple of seconds. Okay. When that dizziness passes, you'll find yourself in that black dress. So as I take your hand, as I take your hand, you're going to stand up now. You feel dizzy for a second or two. Now, when that dizziness passes, you can feel that black dress on you right now. You know, feel that right now? Mm-hmm. In fact, just feel the fabric. There you go. It feels pretty comfortable, doesn't it? Mm-hmm. You look absolutely terrific right now. Is that right? Yep. In fact, when I touch your forehead, you're going to open your eyes looking better than you have in a long, long time. So deeply in hypnosis, just looking great, feeling great. Yeah, what are you wearing right now? Um, my clothes. Your clothes? Okay. Did you have that black dress on for a few seconds? Mm-hmm. How'd that feel for a few seconds? Good. Okay. And now what you're finding is that those clothes you're wearing right now, Seem, well, what's happened is there seems to be some sticky stuff on the floor, and your feet are gotten caught in that sticky stuff on the floor. In fact, you can try to start walking forward, but the harder you move, the more sticky it becomes. Trying to move, and you're getting stuff tighter and tighter. Go ahead and try to get step forward. What's happening right now? I can't move. Yeah, that's kind of weird, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Must be some really bad sticky stuff. And what you're also noticing right now is it feels like that sticky stuff is dripping from the ceiling as well. But you can feel it just kind of dripping on you right now. I can look up to see, and I don't know where it's coming from, but it seems to be getting on your clothes right now a bit, too. Mm. Yeah. In fact, you can try to kind of loosen up your shirt there and stuck. It feels like it's starting to stick to you a bit. Mm -hmm. That's not good at all, is it? No. And that sticky stuff on your arms beginning to itch a little bit. And just, if you wipe it off, it'll go away. Ew. What's going on here? What is this junk? I don't know. Yeah, you see where it's coming from? No. No, and ooh, look how it almost hit in your head there. It just missed you. <laughs> ooh. That's really weird, isn't it? Why are you feeling right now, Barbara? Kind of dizzy. <laughs> kind of dizzy? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it must be the fumes from that sticky stuff making you feel really dizzy right now. Yeah. That you're feeling really, really dizzy right now really dizzy. Now your feet are able to move. Whatever it is that's like dry enough, you can move your feet, but you're feeling really dizzy. You're going to try walking around here feeling really dizzy, almost like you're drunk right now. Mm. feel like you're really drunk right now as you start walking around a bit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Why don't you try walking over this way? This way? Well, over towards me here. There we go. You're just really dizzy, really feeling drunk. In fact, each step you take, you feel more and more dizzy, more and more drunk. Ooh, how are you feeling right now? I still feel dizzy. Feel pretty real dizzy right now? Yeah. Oh, well, here, why don't you come over here so you can try to sit down. Try to sit down, you kind of miss because you're so dizzy. Oh, there you go. Took a little bit of effort there. Now you're feeling so dizzy, you just begin to pass out. Sleep. Sleep. 
This is deeper and deeper and deeper and deeper. Very, very deep. Very, very deep. Now what you're going to discover is when I count to five, you come out of hypnosis, and you still feel your clothes are filled with that sticky stuff. You need to go change your clothes because they're so sticky. But you'll also find the harder you try to stand up, the more you stick until I shake your hand. The harder you try to stand up, the more you stick. You also completely forget you've just been hypnotized. You forget everything about having been hypnotized, everything that's happened, except for the fact you got some sticky junk on your clothes that apparently spilled from something up above. That's the only thing you clearly remember. So to count to five, awake and fully. One, feeling good. Two, feeling very good. Three, feeling wonderful. Four, feeling great. And five. Okay. Barbara, what is that, what is that junk on you there? What does that feel like? I don't know. It's kind of sticky. Yeah. Is that comfortable or not so much? Um, not really. Okay. What do you think we need to do? Probably change. All right. Well, go ahead and see if you can get up and try to change. What's going on? I'm, I'm just kind of dizzy. <laughs>